Hi, this is Ms. Fitzmorris. This video is an example of how to find equivalent resistance in a rather complicated circuit. So what I want you to do is take a moment and copy this circuit down in your notebook. If you already feel confident with finding the equivalent resistance, then you might want to go ahead and just try to do it by yourself. Um, but if you don't, just pause this video and copy down this circuit. So just as a quick reminder, before I go ahead and find the equivalent resistance of the circuit, parallel elements are connected to each other on both ends, and this is the equation for finding the equivalent resistance of parallel elements. Series elements are connected such that electrons passing through one must pass through the other, and we find their equivalent resistance in this way. So we have our circuit right here, and remember we work from the inside out. And the first things that I want to combine are this 8 ohm resistor and this 24 ohm, and this 10 ohm resistor and this 15 ohm. And actually I'm going to draw a different color circle around that so that we can kind of track the resistances. All right, so both of these are in parallel, and I'm going to give them names. I'm going to call this one box and this one star. And so I know that 1 over R box, because it's in parallel, is going to be 1 over 24 plus 1 over 8. Now, I know that the common denominator between 24 and 8 is 24, so 1 over our box is really equal to 1 over 24 plus 1 eighth is really 3 over 24. Okay, now that they have the same denominator, I can add these two, and I end up with 1 over our box is 4 divided by 24. Now, I want our box, not 1 over our box, so I find my reciprocal, and I find that our box is equal to 24 over 4, which is equal to 6 ohms. Okay. So, I have box right here is a 6. And for our star, Okay, the blue circle, these two things are in parallel, so again, I'm going to use the 1 over equation. And I have 1 tenth plus 1 fifteenth. Now I know that the common denominator between these two is going to be 30. 1 tenth is 3 thirtieths, and 1 fifteenth is 2 thirtieths. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So I have 5 thirtieths, and I find that R star must be equal to the reciprocal of that, which is 6. So I have 6 and 6. Okay, and I'm actually going to take the time to redraw this circuit, and I'm going to replace everything inside of box with just 6, and everything inside of star with just 6. Alright, so here is the redrawing. And you can do this if you want, and if you don't need to, that's okay. But basically, I replaced our box with this 6, and I replaced our star with this 6. I'm like simplifying my circuit. Okay, the next two things I want to combine are this 3 and this 6, okay, and these two 6s. Now, I'm going to call the green ones heart. And I'm going to call the orange ones circle. Okay, so I know that 3 and 6 inside of heart are in series. And so because they're in series, I know that I can just add them together, and I have our heart is equal to 3 plus 6, which is equal to 9 ohms. Okay, and I have our circle is equal to 6 plus 6, which is 12 ohms. OK. 
Okay, so I'm going to redraw the circuit one more time, but I'm going to replace heart with 9 and replace circle with 12. And you might want to copy this last version of the circuit down because I'm going to bring this all to the next page. And if you think you're going to get lost, you know, and you really need that, I would copy it down now. Alright, so what I have from down here is the same circuit as before, but again, I replaced the more complicated version with the numbers that I found for them. Okay, our next group that we're going to want to lump um, so that we can simplify our circuit are these 9s and 12s, and they are in parallel, <clears throat> so I'm going to name this triangle, and I have, because they're in parallel, 1 over R triangle equals 1 over 9 plus 1 over 12. Now that I know that 1 ninth and 1 twelfth have a common denominator of 36, so I have 1 over R triangle is equal to 4 over 36, because 1 ninth is 4 over 36, plus 1 twelfth, which is 3 divided by 36, and I end up with 7 divided by 36. Now I need to take the reciprocal. I have R triangle is equal to 36 over 7, which it turns out is about 5.14 ohms. Okay. And just to keep going, I'm going to redraw my circuit one more time and replace everything inside of triangle with 5.14 ohms. So I still have my 3 ohm resistor. Okay, and then where triangle was, I just have one resistor. It's 5.14. And then down here, I have a 5 ohm resistor. And what I'm going to do is I look at these three. I see that if I was an electron and I went through one, I would have to go through all three of them to get back to the battery. So they're all in series, and therefore I can just add them all up. And I have REQ total is just 3 plus 5 plus 5.14, which ends up being 13.14 ohms. So hopefully. At the end of this video, you feel a little bit more comfortable about reducing circuits. And remember, you're working from the inside out, from the simple things that you can simplify and then replace. And every time you group something and replace it in the big circuit, your circuit gets less and less complicated. So we went from this circuit with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different resistors to at the end a circuit where we essentially only had three of them.